Hello there. Do you do any scripting in Roblox? If you do, you have found the right tutorial. And if you don't, just stick around anyway and enjoy the tutorial. What I'm about to show you is going to make your scripting life in Roblox 100 times easier. Or maybe not 100 times, but maybe a little bit easier. So recently, Roblox has just announced a new feature in the Roblox script editor, and it is called multi-cursor script editing. It is still a beta feature. So let's now go and enable that beta feature. And we're going to look for multi-cursor script editing. Here it is. Just check that box, click save, click restart. So here's our script. Basically, I have a variable A that is being used uh, at multiple places inside the script. So previously, if I wanted to change A to something else, to Apple, let's say, I would have to go here and here and here and here to change it. With this new feature, I can just go to the first occurrence of variable A, and then I'm going to press and hold down the Alt key. I'm going to go next to this A. I'm going to click there. I'm going to go here, click there, go here and click there. I can type in Apple and it types in at four different places at the same time. So that is going to make your scripting life much easier. Maybe not 100 times easier, but a little bit easier. And if you have a long script with the same variable at a thousand different places, then it's going to make your life 1000 times easier. Another way you can change all these A's to Apple would be to use the control D as in dog shortcut. So here I'm going to go and click next to A and then I'm going to do a control D as in dog. So I'm selecting my first A and I'm going to keep on doing control D to search and select the next A. So I'm going to do control D again, control D again, control D again. And now I can change them all to Apple. Say if I want to change all these apples to banana, I can click anywhere inside this, this string. I can click here and do control D, control D, control D, control D, and then type in banana. You can also select what you want to change. For example, in this example, I want to change this one. And now I'm going to press and hold down the Alt key. I'm going to select this one. And with the Alt key still holding down, I'm going to select this one. So I'm going to change all three of them at the same time to num, one, two, three. In addition to that, you can also select multiple lines with multi cursor at the same time. Right now, my cursor is on line number seven. If I press control, alt, and the down arrow, I can select multiple lines. I can place the cursor on multiple lines. And now I can type something I want on three separate lines. And you can do the same thing with the up arrow to select the lines that are above the current line. So those are just some of the things that you can do with this new beta release. Now, uh, in addition to that, I just want to show you some uh, shortcuts that I find useful when scripting in Roblox. Number one is you can zoom in and zoom out to make your code larger or smaller by using the control key and press the plus sign to zoom in or press the minus sign to zoom out. You can comment out a block of code by selecting the, the code and do a control slash. Now my code has been commented out. To undo it, you can select the block of code and then do control slash again to undo the comment. You can move a line to a different position by just selecting the line and then press Alt and press the up key to move the line up or press the down key. Again, press, down, press and hold Alt and press the down shift arrow key to move the line down. I can do the same thing with a block of code. For example, I'm gonna move these two lines up. I'm gonna press and hold Alt, press the up arrow to move it up, or press and hold Alt, press the down arrow to move it back down. And I can duplicate a line just by pressing Control Shift D. And if I keep doing it, I can make a bunch of copies of the same line. And now I can go and make my changes. For example, if I want to print something instead, instead of hello, I'm going to print hi. And then I can change the next line to print something else.
Those are some of the things that I find useful when scripting in Roblox. Hope you find them useful as well, and we will see you again in our next tutorial. Take care, everyone.